The animation begins with Johnny and Mavis, who got married at a beautiful wedding venue. Johnny's family was also there to attend the wedding. During the wedding ceremony, Drax's friends were present too. There, Johnny and Mavis exchanged rings and officially became husband and wife. Then, one of the monsters gave a moving speech that made everyone emotional. A year later, Johnny and Mavis approached Drac, and Mavis asked him to take a walk with her. They transformed into bats and flew together, playing hide and seek above the clouds. But when she became tired, Drac noticed her pregnant belly, and he was thrilled to become a grandfather soon. Later, at Hotel Transylvania, Mavis asked Johnny to get her some small fish and ice cream. But Drac, who saw this, became concerned and took out Dracula's guidebook for pregnant women, which recommended monster food. However, at that time she refused to eat it as she wasn't sure if it was Dracula's child or not. Drac sharing his mother's recipe for monster soup meatballs, hoping Mavis would eat it. But she was emotional and cried, thinking about her own mother. Then, Drac eagerly awaited the birth of his grandson and couldn't wait to meet him when he was born. However, he was initially not allowed to see the baby, so he disguised himself as a nurse to sneak in and see his grandson. Finally, Drac was overjoyed to see his new family member. The scene then jumps to Dennis's first birthday, where Murray gave him a gold necklace, but the young boy couldn't bear the weight of the jewelry and cried. Everyone questioned whether he was truly Dracula's grandson, but Mavis couldn't answer until he turned five years old. The film then fast forwards to Dennis at two years old, where he can speak but not clearly. Drac was confused by the toddler's speech. The next jump in time shows that Hotel Transylvania has advanced with technology and has become a popular destination for many visitors, thanks to social media posts. One of the monster staff even edited his appearance using a phone app. Johnny later visits Drac and asks him to find a human magician for an event, as the monster magician was too rough and Wayne wasn't suitable as a tennis coach. Drac was interrupted by a message on his cell phone but couldn't reply because his long fingernails made it difficult to use. Soon after, Johnny came to his aid and showed him how to use it. Later, Drac went to Dennis' room and attempted to teach him how to transform into a bat. However, he ended up dancing instead, and Drac joined in. Unfortunately, Mavis interrupted their dance and scolded Drac because Dennis had school the next day. Before bed, Dennis requested to watch the TV series Monster, which was filled with psychopathic monsters. However, Drac disappointed him by putting on the Monster Cookie TV series instead. After watching TV, he sang a lullaby that put him both to sleep. Next, they went to Wayne's children's birthday party, which was similar to any human child's party. Unexpectedly, Dennis, Johnny, and Mavis showed up to join in the festivities. At that time, Mavis even participated in playing with the children but accidentally destroyed a doll filled with candy, causing chaos as the children ate the candy and disrupted the party even more. Shortly after, Dennis was accidentally thrown by Wayne's children while they were playing, and it's causing one of his teeth to fall out. Drac, a concerned father and Dennis' grandfather, reassured him that his canine teeth would grow back soon. Just then, Mavis interrupted and insisted that Dennis wasn't a monster, to which Drac agreed. But Mavis surprised Drac by announcing that she wanted to move to California, where her husband Johnny grew up. Hearing that, he was taken aback and decided to talk to Johnny about it, but Johnny was unsure if they should move again. There, Drac felt angry and confused, so he went back to his hotel room, feeling a little bit lost. However, Drac's friend Frank showed up and noticed that Drac seemed upset. After some talking, Frank suggested that him should take a break and let Mavis and Johnny go on vacation to California while Drac takes care of Dennis. This way, they could all have a chance to relax and refresh themselves. Hearing that, Drac loved the idea and immediately approached Johnny with this proposal. Without wasting any time, Drac shared his plan with Johnny. He proposed that he would teach Dennis how to be a real Dracula so that he could still live in Hotel Transylvania even if he turned into a bat. This way, Johnny would no longer feel the need to stay in California and could stay with them at Hotel Transylvania. But to make this happen, Drac needed Johnny to distract Mavis by inviting her on a trip to California for a while. After some consideration, he agreed to Drac's plan, and they immediately put it into action. Johnny and Mavis left for California, leaving Dennis in Drac's care. Soon after, Drac took Dennis for a walk, but they were interrupted by his friends who came in a car. However, Blobby also showed up, claiming that Frank had invited him. But Blobby was too big to fit in the car, so he had to ride a scooter next to it. Despite the inconvenience, he was still excited to join in on their adventure. Not long after, Drac and his friends had reached a park, where he instructed Frank to scare the women in front of them. However, the plan didn't work out as expected, as the women were not frightened and even asked for a photo. To make things worse, Dennis ended up scaring the women, but surprisingly, they found him amusing. Their journey continued until they reached a forest where deer roamed at night. 
Drac then ordered Wayne to eat the deer in front of Dennis, but Wayne got distracted by a frisbee that flew by and chased after it instead. While driving in the car, Drac was furious with Wayne for constantly biting the frisbee. Their argument got heated, and they ended up fighting over the frisbee, causing the driver to lose control of the car. Unfortunately, Blobby was outside and falling into a ravine. No one seemed to care much about his well-being, and they continued on their journey. Meanwhile, as Johnny and Mavis arrived in California, they had a great time exploring and playing around. After that, Mavis went to a convenience store to try out some drinks while Johnny was busy playing BMX in front of some kids. Unfortunately, he accidentally broke the children's bicycles, making them very upset. Thankfully, Mavis came to the rescue by performing a trick on her BMX bike that made the children laugh and be amazed. Meanwhile, Drac and his friends were up to some mischief. Drac ordered Murray to summon a sandstorm to impress Dennis, who wanted to become a monster like them. But during the ritual, Murray hurt his waist and became powerless, leaving the plan in jeopardy. Drac and his friends continued their journey to Winnipecaca. There, Drac was excited because it was the first time he would turn into a bat there. When they arrived at the summer camp, they were surprised to find that it was completely safe for children. However, while they were at the camp, Mavis became worried about Dennis and decided to call Drac to check on him. But when Drac saw the call, he turned off his phone, claiming bad signal, and kept the truth hidden from her. Luckily, Griffin helped Dennis and kept everything under control. On the other hand, Johnny and Mavis visited Johnny's parents' house in California. Then, they invited some neighbors who had lived in California for a long time to give Mavis some tips on living there. Meanwhile, at the Dracula summer camp, everyone was singing Dracula songs, but Drac was getting bored. He didn't like the songs, even though they made everyone else happy. Eventually, he left with Dennis and took him to the highest place in the camp. This was the first time Drac had ever turned into a bat from such a high place. When they reached the top, he threw Dennis off the edge, ignoring his friend's warnings that Dennis could get hurt. Whee! Just as Dennis was about to hit the ground, Drac swooped in and saved him. However, all the children at the camp had recorded the incident, and the camp administrator scolded him for his reckless behavior. Meanwhile, Frank was leaning on a piece of wood. Unfortunately, the wood fell and hit the bonfire, causing it to ignite at the worst possible time. He was terrified of fire, and his body was badly burned. He panicked and ran away, accidentally causing destruction at the summer camp. On the other hand, Mavis and Johnny were discussing whether or not to move to California when Johnny received a video from his friend. He thought it was something else, but when he watched the video, he realized it was Drac saving Dennis. Mavis accidentally saw the video, and things became chaotic. She immediately called Drac to say she would return to Hotel Transylvania. There, Drac was panicked and couldn't respond. Mavis hung up the phone, and both Mavis and Johnny rushed to the airport. Soon after, when Drac and his friends were on their way to Hotel Transylvania when Drac's car suddenly caught fire. He was confused and worried, but then Griffin told him that he had called for help. To their surprise, they found out that Blobby, who they thought had died in the incident, was still alive. They all quickly got on his scooter and rushed to the hotel. On the other hand, Mavis and Johnny were also having a hard time because their plane was delayed. Mavis, who was still sensible, transformed into a bat and picked up Johnny. Together, they faced scary obstacles such as storm clouds and other obstacles to reach the hotel. Back to Drac and his friends, their journey was delayed again because Blobby needed to pee. They continued their journey, but unfortunately, the scooter ran out of fuel suddenly. They had to come up with a creative solution, and Frank ended up inflating Blobby to use him as transportation. It was a little strange, but luckily it worked. When they finally arrived at Hotel Transylvania, Drac immediately called Mavis. To his surprise, she was already there in front of him. Then, he tried to lie to her, but Mavis already knew the truth because his videos were all over the place. In the end, she decided to move to California, but not before they celebrated their son Dennis's fifth birthday at Hotel Transylvania. Soon after, the scene changes to a room where Mavis is tidying up her belongings. Suddenly, she hears the voice of Dennis and rushes to him. At that time, Dennis is seen attempting to transform into a bat, and Mavis questions him as to why he wants to do that, though he replies that he does not want to leave Drac. Later that evening, Johnny's family returns to Hotel Transylvania, where they all enjoy a monster dinner. His mother then asks Mavis if she has any family aside from Drac. Then, she reveals that she has a grandfather named Vlad and had invited him to Dennis's fifth birthday party last year. The scene shifts to Vlad's house where he has received a letter from Mavis inviting him to the upcoming party. He is thrilled to attend, but he and his minion Bella strongly dislike humans. 
Meanwhile, Drac freezes everyone on the other side and informs Johnny that he does not appreciate the presence of humans. He suggests throwing a costume party to hide the fact that they are humans from Drac. The scene shifts to Dennis's fifth birthday party where Johnny's family is dressed as zombies. On the other hand, Vlad is outside and Bella warns him about the presence of a human. But he disregards the warning, stating that he can smell humans in the outside world. Meanwhile, Johnny shows off his new costume to Drac and invites a guest from Dennis's favorite Cookie Monster series. Suddenly, Vlad enters the room and causes chaos. He tries to find his grandson but ends up meeting Johnny. As they chat, Dennis approaches them and Vlad asks to see his fangs, causing tension between them. However, Vlad assures everyone that Dennis's fangs will grow soon and reveals his plan to scare Dennis so that they will come out. Soon after, the monster show begins and Vlad is backstage, enchanting the monsters to turn to the dark side. Here loves cake! Uh -oh. Oh, you don't eat cake! Cake is Seeing that scares Dennis and Drac has to reverse the spell. Not long after, Mavis arrives and questions why everyone is treating Dennis like a monster, emphasizing that he is not one. This causes an argument among the party guests, prompting Dennis to leave unnoticed. Fortunately, Winnie realizes that he is leaving and accompanies him. Back at the hotel where Johnny's family was staying, they all admitted to being humans. Bella, who witnessed this, became very angry and was on the verge of turning into a crazed model. Suddenly, Johnny realized that Dennis had disappeared and the entire group panicked and rushed to find him. Meanwhile, Dennis and Winnie were in a treehouse when Bella approached them with the intention of hurting them. At that time, Winnie didn't want Dennis to get hurt, so she bit Bella's hand. This made Bella furious and he threw Winnie, causing her to become unconscious. However, this made Dennis angry and he immediately turned into his Dracula form. Then, he shouted at Bella and started beating him up until Bella fell. Shortly after, Bella called for help and his friends rushed to the scene. They were all happy to see that Dennis could transform into a bat, proving that he was a vampire and not a human. All of a sudden, Bella's friends, who were quite numerous, arrived at the scene. Meanwhile, Drac saw this and was thrilled because he could fight them off. Vlad, who also saw the situation, opened his heart to the idea of humans and monsters working together to defeat the Bella forces. And without a doubt, Drac and his friends emerged victorious from the fight. Out of nowhere, Bella appeared and wanted to show Johnny the wood. Luckily, Vlad saved Johnny from being impaled by the wooden skewer. In the end, Bella was reduced to a small size and became a toy for Wayne's children. Then, the animation ended with a celebration of Dennis's fifth birthday. The animation ends. The moral lesson of this animation is that it's never too late to learn something new, even if you are a centuries-old vampire.